In chemistry, we often deal with very large quantities and very small quantities. So it's going to be helpful for us to have a way to deal with that. For example, you can take a picture of a teaspoon of salt here. It contains many, many, many molecules of salt. So we actually have a way to represent that called scientific notation. We can represent this very large number as 6 times 10 to the 22nd power. This is called scientific notation. Scientific notation. And scientific notation is a way of expressing numbers more efficiently. Now, this is scientific notation, the 6 times 10 to the 22nd. If you have a graphing calculator, you may see this represented on that as 6e22, just to keep that in mind. If you have a graphing calculator, this means the same thing as 6 times 10 to the 22nd power. I'm going to assume that you have some familiarity with scientific notation, so I'm going to only very quickly go over how to go back and forth between standard notation and scientific notation. Standard notation is a number like this, 5420 is written in standard notation. Now even though we don't write it, we know that there's a decimal point right there. And for scientific notation, we're going to move that decimal space over to here. And moving it three spaces changes this to 5.420 times 10 to the three spaces that we moved it over to the left. Okay? So this is the same number in scientific notation. Now I can go the other direction as well. In this case, down here, I have 3.2 times 10 to the negative second power. The negative 2 means I'm going to move this decimal further over to the left. So I'm going to move it 1, 2 spaces, and fill in the 0. So this number becomes 0 0.032 in standard notation. Okay. This is a very brief overview of how to go back and forth between standard notation and scientific notation. In this lesson, we're going to focus on arithmetic with scientific notation. So dividing and multiplying numbers that are written in scientific notation, and doing addition and subtraction with numbers written in scientific notation. First, let's look at multiplication and division because they're very similar. Our first example is multiplying two numbers that are written in scientific notation. The first thing we want to do here is multiply the numbers together. So we have 5 and 2.3 are going to give us 11.5. The next thing we want to do is combine the exponent terms. So we take, we take the 10 to the second and the 10 to the third, and the way to combine them is by adding their exponents together. So this is going to end up with times 10. We're multiplying the numbers together, so we add the exponents. 10 to the fifth power. So this is how we arrive at the product of two numbers written in scientific notation, with the answer also in scientific notation. However, this answer isn't complete because 11.5 is not the proper way to write scientific notation. We're only allowed to have one number in front of the decimal. So we need to move that. So to move this over one space, we're going to add 1 to the exponent. And this is going to become 1.15 times 10 to the 6th power. Now let's take a look at division. Here in this case, we're dividing two numbers. 5.6 times 10 to the 4th divided by 2 times 10 to the 2nd. We're going to follow the a very similar method to what we just did. First we're going to divide these two numbers, then we're going to divide these two terms. So 5.6 divided by 2, we can do that very quickly, is going to give us 2.8. When we divide two numbers with exponents, the 10 to the 4th and 10 to the 2nd, we're going to subtract the numbers that are in the exponent. So 10 to the 4, and 10 to the 2 subtracted really is going to be this, which gives us 10 to the second power. So this is 2.8 times 10 to the second power. Now addition and subtraction work a little bit differently than multiplication and division, so let's take a look at that. Whenever you're adding or subtracting, the first thing you have to do is make sure that the terms with the exponent, okay, the 10 to the third and the 10 to the second, have the same exponent. So right now they don't. This has a 3, this has a 2. That means we need to change one of these two terms. And I always like to change the term that has the lower exponent. So we're going to change this one to match this. So to write 
2.7 times 10 to the second instead with a 10 to the third we actually have to move the decimal over one place so we're going to move it this way and now we have 0.27 times 10 to the third which matches which matches our first term now that we have 10 to the third in both numbers we can just take 5.4 and add 0.27 to it so we line them up 5.4 plus 0.27 and you add it like normal then bring down the exponent and we have 5.67 times 10 to the third as our final sum of these two numbers now let's look at subtraction subtraction is going to work much the same way we're subtracting two numbers we're going to have to do the same thing where we have to make this 10 to the fourth and this 10 to the second the same term and I'm going to do the same thing by changing this number because it has the lower exponent I'm going to make this to the 10 to the fourth power so like I did before I'm going to move the decimal over two spaces this time because I want to go from two to four so I have to increase by two move the decimal over by two spaces and that gives me 0 0.09 times 10 to the fourth now my exponents are the same I have 8 times 10 to the fourth here and I point zero 0.09 times 10 to the fourth here so now just like the last example with addition I'm going to line up where the decimal places are and carry out the subtraction so let's do that we have 8 minus 0 0.09 is really 8.00 we can put that there and we get 7.91 bring down the 10 to the fourth times 10 to the fourth and that is our answer so we've given an overview on how to multiply and divide and add and subtract numbers written in scientific notation write down any questions that you have about this lesson and bring them in with you to class